Hey everybody, I am here in the COVID-19 emergency bunker. The zombies have stopped their attack for now. So I've got an announcement video for you. Tell you a little bit about what we've uh, planned on for the next weeks, months, who knows how long we'll be banned from public worship. Uh, but I've got some thoughts for you. I've got some suggestions for you, some hopefully encouraging things for us to focus on. And so that's what I'm going to present uh, right now in this video, which is kind of a test video because let's be honest, I have no idea what I'm doing. So we're going we're gonna to see how this goes. Here's the goal for this video. I want to focus us, give us some points of focus uh, that we can have throughout this, this coronavirus crisis, throughout the, the quarantine. So that's what this video is about. What is our focus as a church going to be as we endure this time of uh, isolation, uh, somewhat a scary time maybe for many, and uh, we need to fix our minds on certain things to, to, to help, us, help us through this, help us cope and help us really take advantage of this situation. We don't want for you know two months of isolation to go by and then we we look back on this time when we were more locked up in our homes than perhaps we ever have been before and think you know what i really could have gotten certain things done in that time if i'd only thought about it and made the goal so what's our focus gonna be as a church three things the first thing i want us to be focusing on in the next weeks or months however long it's going to be is where'd my where'd my marker go is the greatness of God the greatness of God okay our focus is going to be in the first place on the greatness of of God. And this is a great opportunity, a great time for us to, to have this focus because we're, we're very much realizing right now how weak we are, how vulnerable we are as humans, how little control we actually have over the most important things in our life. And so as we are thinking about our smallness, it's a great opportunity for, for us to think about God's bigness, his greatness. And so that's going to be our focus. Now, this is uh, a focus that we started this quarter on in adult Sunday school, dealing with the attributes of God and going through this book by Matthew Barrett called None Greater. Let me see if I can get you. There we go. None Greater. I would highly recommend you get a copy of this book and have this as one of your COVID-19 goals, one of your quarantine goals. To, to read through this book. Some of you may have already been doing it because of adult Sunday school. But essentially, I think it's a great focus for us to have during the quarantine. And it's the focus that uh, I'm going to have in presenting some, some weekly lessons that I'll be, I'll be sending out so we as a church have some, some unified teaching during this time. And it's going to be on that theme, the, the, the greatness of God. I'm not calling these sermons. I don't know. It's, it feels strange to me to think about preaching into a camera. So they're going to be devotional. They're going to be lessons. They're going to be very Sunday, Sunday school-like or, or, or sermon-like. But uh, videos that you can watch with your family and friends um, and neighbors, maybe other church members uh, on Sunday as we as we all gather in our homes. Uh, not exactly a substitute for sermons, but a little spiritual nourishment for us to to engage in during this time. So that is one of the chief things I want us to focus on as a church during this time where we see our smallness. Let's think about and learn more about God's greatness. And as I said, I'll be sending out some uh, weekly videos, maybe not every week, but uh, occasional videos that will, that will lead us in, in continuing our study on the doctrines of God uh, using this book, None Greater, by, by Matthew Barrett. So pick up your copy, begin to read, and look for more videos on this theme. I feel like some sort of strange 
wannabe famous YouTuber. This is very odd, but we'll press on, we'll press through it. Okay, the second thing I'd like for us to focus on during our quarantine is something very basic. It's something that all of us should really be in the habit of doing, but it can be a difficult habit to, to have. And uh, it's so important though, that we should take this opportunity where we have, shall we say, a lot of time with our families. We should take the opportunity as, as we have all this time with our families to begin a practice, maybe a renewed practice, maybe a strengthened practice, maybe a brand new practice of family Bible time. Family Bible time. Now, what does family Bible time look like? Let's keep it really basic. It means you get together as a family, you sit down together, and you read the Bible together. Read big chunks, read small chunks. Doesn't really matter, but read the Bible together and then talk about it a little bit. Now, you may say, I don't feel equipped to talk a lot about the Bible with my children. Listen, the the exercise of just reading the Bible together and seeking to think and talk about it together, even if you feel like you do it very poorly, it's such an important discipline. It's such an important thing for us to be doing as families. Now, we are stuck inside so much in these next few weeks or months during the quarantine with each other, with our families. Let's not just watch more Netflix. Let's not just binge watch television shows. Let's not just play more board games, although that would be great to do, but let's really dig into something that is incredibly important and hopefully begin a, a, a lifelong habit of reading the Bible together as family. So listen, the greatness of God, something really important to focus on during this time. Another marker out there, another goal, another another uh, waypoint that you can fix your sights on to get your bearings and to stay stabilized during this crazy time is family Bible time. Don't make it fancy. Doesn't have to be in depth. Just read the Bible together as families. Now, if you wanna to add to that a little bit, reading the Bible together, that's fantastic. I would suggest using a catechism. You can find uh, numerous really good catechisms, and if you don't have a copy at home, just look them up online. The first catechism, the first catechism put out by Great Commission Publications is a fantastic catechism. The first catechism, or of course, the Westminster Shorter Catechism. The Westminster Shorter Catechism. Fantastic things. Now, we thought about as a church putting out um, all the Sunday school curriculum and distributing that to parents, but that's going to be somewhat complicated and um, it might be a little, a little too much to actually pull off. I think it's probably better for us to just, to just focus on the, the meat and potatoes, the bare bones essential practices that are so good for us to have as foundational activities in the home. And that simply is reading the Bible together, okay? Reading, praying together, and then like I said, throwing in some catechism, that would be fantastic. So during this time, during the quarantine, the greatness of God, family Bible time, and then lastly, I want us to be thinking about focusing on what we could call, what we could call a Corona community. Community in the time of Corona. I'm going to call it Corona Community. Corona. Uh, uh, wait, wait. Corona Community. The greatness of God, family Bible time, and then sort of the third leg of the stool, the third thing I think it would be great for us to, to focus on and think, and think carefully about and be engaged in is community. But it's not community as we might normally think about. So here's some suggestions I'm gonna give to you as ways we might pursue community during this quarantine. And I wanna emphasize the word might, ways we might pursue community during this quarantine. The following ideas I'm gonna, th I'm gonna throw out to you right now 
are merely suggestions and you are only to engage in them as much as, as you feel comfortable, as much as you feel is, is wise. Because uh, you know some of the experts are saying the safest thing to do during this time is to absolutely, as much as possible, limit your contact with, with other human beings. And so if that's the, the route you're taking, if that's the strategy that you want to employ, then please don't take this as uh, any sort of encouragement to, to violate what you feel is best for you and your family. Only engage in these as much as, as, much as you feel is, is okay and is, and is responsible. And let's all respect each other's decisions in that, in that regard. But as much as you are comfortable, we could use this time to get together in small groups. Um, you know, we're, we, were, we were talking as a session, John, Chris, and I, the, the elders of Providence, were talking as a session the other night and realizing that a lot of, well, a lot of, all of our evening activities have been, have been put on hold. Uh, so if, especially if you're a family with small children and you've got, uh, for us, jujitsu a number of nights a week, you've got maybe soccer practice, basketball, whatever's going on right now, you're involved in your bowling league, whatever it might be. All of that's stopped, all of that's put on hold. And so now could be a great opportunity for us to get together in community and have some families over that you, you haven't talked to in a while, maybe you've never really interacted with, and now would be a great time to get to know them. So let's think about the possibility, again, as much as you feel, feel comfortable, of exercising some hospitality throughout the week. And then think about what we might do on Sunday. As I said, I'm going to be sending out some videos, uh, either a video on the doctrine of God, the greatness of God, or uh, a sermon suggestion, uh, a, a video of a sermon that I suggest you could, you could watch and, and listen to from one of the great preachers of the day. Um, and it might be a great, a great idea to, to have some people over, to have a, a watch party on, on Sunday morning together where you watch the video and you, you talk about it. We'll send out some suggested hymns that you could sing along with that, some links to some, some hymns that could be easily incorporated into that. And you could just have you and one other family or, or if you're small families, a couple other families, watch it together, discuss, sing some songs, have lunch together. That's a way for us to, to keep connected. Again, as much as you feel comfortable doing that. Um, but if you do feel comfortable doing that, what a great opportunity it could be to really get to know some people on a, on a deeper level during this time. Uh, we're also going to be thinking about expanding community groups at this time. That's still in the process, but you can, you can look out for announcements regarding that. And then finally, under Corona Community, let's all be careful to think about our neighbors. Maybe some of our neighbors are gonna to want to exercise extreme self-isolation and, and social distancing. They won't want us to come over and knock on our doors. But I've had some great conversations just running into neighbors on the sidewalk recently and, and talking about uh, what's going on, checking in with them, seeing how they're doing, seeing if there's anything we can share with them, anything that we can, we can do for them. And I'm hoping that this could be a time as the, as the weeks stretch on that we might be able to have some of our, our neighbors over to have those, again, small social gatherings, uh, 10 people or less, but to, to take advantage again of, of not only getting to know people in the church, but those around us in the community and being particularly sensitive about how we might serve them. If you think about a family that gets sick, what's the way that you could serve them? Well, I don't want to get into contact with them. Okay, but you could make some food maybe and, you know, ding dong ditch. Leave it on their doorstep, ring the bell and run. That sort of thing. But let's just have that in our minds. Let's have that as one of our points of focus as we're trying to navigate these, these crazy times. So those three things, those three points of focus to help us keep our bearings during this crazy time, particularly during the during the isolation that we're all experiencing. Let's think about focusing on the greatness of God, family Bible time, that's a big one, and then having our minds on community as much as we can and specific to our social isolating standards. All right, 
I hope this was helpful. I look forward to trying to send out some more of these videos just to try to keep us knit together as a church and to go through some teaching on the greatness of God. See you later. Beware the zombies.